from the WYLN studios in Hazleton, Pennsylvania. WYLN Evening Edition at 5.30 starts right now. Good evening. It's Thursday, August 11th, 2016. I'm Ann Gownley. That vacant building severely damaged by fire at Church and Walnut Street in Hazleton has to come down. That's the city's ruling. The building had already been condemned for numerous code violations before the fire, which tore through it Tuesday night. The building is owned by Marie Almy of New York. Fire Chief Donald Leshko said the third floor sustained most of the fire damage, though the second floor rear was also severely damaged. The fire remains under investigation. There is still no cause. Mahanoy City has fired Corporal Michael Dissinger from the police force. Borough Council made it official with a unanimous vote. Dissinger had been suspended with pay since April after state police began investigating $10,000 missing from the evidence room and Dissinger's name surfaced. He was fired for conduct unbecoming an officer. At the same time, Police Chief John Kazmarczyk unexpectedly retired. No charges have been filed against Dissinger or Kazmarczyk as of yet. Solicitor Michael Paik says the state police investigation is still ongoing. He also said he expected Dissinger to dispute the firing. Remember a couple of weeks ago when a woman was charged for leaving a two-year-old locked in a car in a parking lot outside Wilkesbury? Now the child's grandmother has also been charged. 56-year-old Marie Lourdes Francos of Wilkesbury has been charged with a single count of reckless endangerment. Township police say she was with the child's mother, 28-year-old Rosemary Sherry, inside Price Chopper while the child was locked inside the car. Sherry faces a misdemeanor charge of child endangerment and a count of leaving a child unattended in a vehicle. Paramedics said the heat inside the car caused the child's temperature to rise to 102 degrees before a bystander was able to open the driver's side door through the window and get him out. State Representative Tara Tuhill is calling for an immediate special meeting for the Hazleton Area School District Board of Education. After a large amount of outcries from her constituents, Representative Tuhill is hoping board members reconsider the vote to reduce kindergarten classes to half day. Tuhill says the community is not prepared for this large cut to education and it will further diminish the education of an already impervished and struggling group of children. It's so important. It's not a babysitting service. It is actual full day kindergarten where we are developing children and setting them up for first grade, second grade, third grade, uh, higher PSSA scores and being able to come out and be able to read, write and work in our community. Uh, it's so important that we do have this. Uh, the working folks here are now going to have ambulatory care and be able to come here and get help uh, and those working parents um, they are hoping that their children are going to be able to continue to receive a good education and get the what the building blocks that they deserve to will added that the school board only needs five votes towards keeping full day kindergarten out of the nine members Tuhill is hoping to hear back from the board and to schedule a meeting in the very near future. WYLN will continue to follow this story as more information becomes available. Ground was broke today for a new micro hospital in Hazel Township. WYLN's Aaron Harvey has more. Coordinated Health will open a new outpatient ambulatory surgical center in the Humboldt Station. This will be the third center in Luzerne County for Coordinated Health. The other facilities include those at Center Point in Pittston and the Churchill Mall in Hazleton. CEO Dr. Emil Diorio says his company has to compete against Geisinger Health System and Commonwealth Health, but says it's not all about collaborating and not competing. Today, administrators, state and local officials, along with the public, joined in the groundbreaking. Dr. Diorio says this is an exciting time for coordinated health. This event at the Humboldt Station is about the new health care facility going up, uh, a health care facility uh, sponsored by Coordinated Health, uh, a facility that will bring uh, uh, clinics, and ambulatory surgery, uh, needs, health care needs for the community. Dr. DiOrio says this new facility will be something different for the area and explain exactly what a micro hospital is. Uh, Employment will be uh, at least uh, uh, 200 people here. Uh, that includes the uh, uh, support systems. Uh, but the facility itself will include 
uh, a number of different uh, areas. These are what we call uh, micro-hospital systems, uh, micro-hospital systems that bring uh, care closer to the community. They include uh, urgent care centers that are, act as really an emergency room type center for a community. President of CanDo Incorporated, Kevin O'Donnell, said this is great for the community since it will be creating more jobs for the area. Coordinated health decision to locate their uh, facility in Humboldt Station is of tremendous benefit to, uh, uh, to Humboldt Industrial Park. It means a lot to the employers of Humboldt Park because uh, they'll have uh, easy access to uh, uh, occupational uh, uh, care and, and, and things of that nature. For CanDo, uh, it's a real shot in the arm uh, because uh, locating coordinated health in Humboldt Station not only means terrific quality jobs coming to Humboldt Station. Uh, almost 50 jobs will be locating here. Jim Montone, a Hazel Township supervisor, said today was a great day not only for the township but for the entire greater Hazelton area. What a great day it is for Hazel Township. Uh, I mean, this is just another example of the great health care that we have to offer in this in this area. I mean, uh, coordinated health, putting a facility up here, that's, that's the icing on the cake compared to what we have already to offer. It's just a great day for Hazel Township and the entire Hazelton surrounding areas. The $12 million project will get underway immediately and is expected to be completed by September of 2017. In Hazel Township, for WIL News, I'm Aaron Harvey. Thank you, Aaron. An accident on the Sansui Parkway early this morning. It happened in Hanover Township, just outside of Wilkes-Barre. The driver of a pickup truck headed towards Nanakoke lost control near the Penn Corners convenience store around 1 o'clock in the morning. The truck went off the road and hit a telephone pole. The highway was closed between Greenwalt and Willow Streets for much of the morning. The driver was taken to the hospital. No name or condition has yet been released. A lifelong resident fireman in Delano, John Doc Dougherty, will be memorialized in the town that he grew up in. Tomorrow, the Delano Fire Company will unveil two statues of firefighters that the family has donated in memory of John, who passed away back in February at the age of 83. The statues will also honor all firefighters. The statues stand around five and a half feet tall and depicts firefighters, one holding an axe and the other holding a hose ready to fight a fire. The dedication ceremony will take place this Friday at 6 p.m. at the Firehouse Flagpole. Well, want to hit the water in Whitehaven? WYLN has a pair of tickets to waterway challengers rafting. The team of experienced river guides at Whitewater Challengers will guide you on an exciting river rafting trip you'll never forget. There are three fantastic world-class wa whitewater raft rivers from easy and exhilarating. There's a trip here that's just perfect for just about everybody. Whitewater Challengers offers guided dam release rafting trips that travel down three different rivers in New York and Pennsylvania. For your chance to win, dial 570-459-1869, extension 1110. Right now, leave your name and number and we'll put your name in the drawing. The winners will be announced on Tuesday, August 16th on our 5.30 and 10 p.m. newscast. So if you want these tickets, dial now and of course, good luck. Well, it's time now for a first look at our forecast. A heat wave is sweeping across our area, but how high will these temperatures reach? Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbacic is in the Weather Center with the details. Joe? Well, we have to deal with not only the heat, but we have to deal with the humidity across our area, some showers and thunderstorms also. Not done with this wicked hot <laughs> just sultry type weather across our area. We still have a little bit more time to deal with it, but it is summer. We can expect it for this time of year. We will see a little bit of a break in it. I'll let you know when in just a few. And Thanks, Joe. Coming up next, King's College hosted an informational session on educational advances in Pennsylvania. Plus, a local food bank received a sizable donation thanks to the Hazleton Area Rotary Club. More news, weather, and sports is coming your way only on WYLN. You're watching WYLN News with Ann Gownley, video journalists Mike Lula and Julie Stefanovich, Paula Degnan, Gary Perna, Abby Piskel, and Aaron Harvey. Sports with Eric DiBerardinis and John Eric Poli, and weather with Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbacic.
SJ Kowalski is your Mitsubishi Diamond Contractor. They can install a Mitsubishi Electric, Mr. Slim Ductless Heating and Cooling System. Mr. Slim Systems are designed to make any living space in your home inviting. You can have a different temperature control for every room in your home. The money-saving technology can save you 25 to 50 percent on your heating bill. For Mitsubishi, Renai, and trained comfort specialists, call SJ Kowalski at 570-455-2600. Maylaf Valley Health Systems in Cybertsville, providing physical, occupational, speech, nutritional, and outpatient therapy. Also offering home health and hospice care. For more information, call 570-708-2929. Beach Mountain Lakes Restaurant and Lounge is open to the public Wednesday through Sunday. They offer great food and entertainment with a beautiful lake view from their 100-foot deck. Wednesday is Crab Lake Night, Thursday is their Burger Bash, and Sunday is Clam Night. Check out their live entertainment every weekend. All Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech, and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid, and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones. Many educators from across the state of Pennsylvania stopped by King's College today for their annual STREAM conference. WYLN's Aaron Harvey was there and has more on this morning's conference. King's College hosted their annual STEM conference today, but the conference had a new name, STREAM. STREAM stands for Science, Technology, Reading, Writing, Engineering, Early Childhood, Arts, and Mathematics. The conference had educators attend and present from all over the state of Pennsylvania. Director of Graduate Programs and Curriculum and Instruction at King's College, Dr. Deb Carr, explains what went on at the conference. Well, the conference is a gathering of educators from pre-K through the university level. And it's a time for educators to share ideas and get charged up for the new school year. We've got sessions here from early childhood with the STARS program and what's, um, what's required for early childhood, as well as sessions on close reading, uh, like virtual field trips and anything and everything that really work focuses, focuses on reading, writing, listening, speaking, science, technology, engineering, and math. It had been a focus of just STEM the last couple of years, but we have expanded to include the early childhood as well as more of the language arts. The conference grows every year and gives an opportunity for graduate students to present. It keeps growing every year and we've got presenters here from across the state. We've got presenters here who have also been graduate students at King's College and they are educators um, across the Luzerne Intermediate area as well who have great ideas to share with teachers and give them some resources to start their new school year. Assistant Professor of Education at King's College and a presenter at the conference of getting students to tune in and turn it up, Dr. Sunny Weiland explains how the idea of the conference came together. This conference uh, grew out of uh, an idea to engage teachers before the school year begins to gather best practices for really engaging students um, at high levels in best practices. So uh, initially we had a focus on science, technology, engineering, and math. A lot of uh, secondary schools had focused on implementing initiatives to engage students in STEM. Um, and we recognized that students need to be engaged in STEM ideas that incorporate the arts and reading and writing at much younger grade levels. So we're trying to have an emphasis on pre-K through you know, university level teachers so that we really engage students in best practices for learning. The conference was changed from STEM to STREAM to bring in more educators. When it was first just STEM, science, technology, engineering, math, we found that there were really innovative educators who weren't enrolling because they thought it might not apply to their classroom. Well, transdisciplinary education involving all content areas at all levels is really best practice for STEM. So we called it STREAM to embrace that transdisciplinary idea. So science, technology, reading, writing, the arts, mathematics, engineering, um, and early childhood through uh, university level. So we wanted to encompass uh, more of a broad audience and also encourage more collaboration and sharing. In Wilkes-Barre, for WILN News, I'm Erin Harvey. Thank you, Erin. Coming up next, Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbajic is back with a full look at our forecast. 
All that and more plus sports with Eric DiBerdinas, who has a look at how gold medal Olympian Michael Phelps is keeping his muscles in check. Stay tuned. Were you satisfied with your child's education this school year? Well, take a look at what Marion Catholic High School has to offer. Students are challenged academically, spiritually, morally, and physically. Excellent student-teacher ratio and a full array of clubs and activities. 90% of all grads continue on to higher education. A sound investment in your child's future. Affordable tuition and scholarships are available. Log on to our website or call today for a free tour. Enter your name and phone number for a chance to win a pair of tickets for a rafting adventure with Whitewater Challengers for a trip down the Lehigh River. Winners will be announced August 16th on WYLN's Evening Edition at 5.30 p.m. and Late Edition at 10 p.m. Call 570-459-1869, extension 1110, to enter. Two pair of tickets will be given away. Get ready to get soaked with an exciting rafting trip from Whitewater Challengers. It's high school football time. Watch WILN for all the local high school football action as we bring you the event, not just the highlights, like only WILN can. Watch the game of the week right here on WILN. We're your local network. For the best in local sports, watch WILN TV 35. The event, not just the highlights. Well, we've been dealing with the heat and humidity across our area, still not over yet. We still have to deal with the heat and humidity across our area through uh, the next couple of days. Eventually, we're going to start to see a little bit of a break in the uh, forecast, which we'll look at in a seven-day forecast. But overall today, uh, 80s to near 90 degrees with temperatures feeling even hotter than what the actual air temperature indicates. And even a little bit of that breeze that blows really does not give us any type of relief from the heat. And of course, as like yesterday, we had to deal with some showers and thunderstorms throughout the daytime hours of today. Tomorrow is going to be pretty much a repeat of what we've experienced today. All right, on to the numbers. And we continue to be in the 80s. But if you notice those uh, dew point numbers, when you get up there into the 70s like that, you walk outside and it feels very tropical-like uh, in the atmosphere. The humidity value is way up there. And as a result, it's actually making it feel a lot hotter than what the actual air temperature indicates. So despite 83 degrees, it's making it feel like it's 90. In many areas, it's feeling like temperatures are well in the 90s. So how did we do today temperature-wise across our area? We did get up to uh, 86 for the high. And definitely was a muggy start to our early morning. We only dropped down to 70 degrees and really didn't get any type of relief in terms of any type of winds because they've been fairly light but we did have some showers and thunderstorms out there that of course dropped those temperatures a little bit gave us a little bit of some relief from the heat but as quick as those showers and storms move through once again the humidity increases the temperature increases as well now there is going to be relief in sight with the heat on the extended forecast but it's not going to get here until start going into early next week 85 again for tomorrow we'll see a mix of clouds and sunshine there's going to be some showers and thunderstorms out there tomorrow saturday and even into sunday we're going to be getting up into the mid to upper 80s some areas near 90 degrees for tomorrow and saturday many areas will be in the lower 90s but again with those humidity values so high it's going to be making it feel several degrees hotter than what the actual air temperature indicates early next week it starts to cool down a little bit we should be getting temperatures in the upper 70s to near 80 degrees as we go into monday tuesday wednesday and thursday of next week and tuesday wednesday and thursday looks like they should be the dry days at this point in time prior to that again some showers and thunderstorms and some of those overnight lows next couple of nights we're going to be dropping down into the mid to upper 60s to near 70 degrees. We'll have more for you coming up after this break. All Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech, and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. 
They also offer dietitian, home health aid, and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones. SJ Kowalski is your Mitsubishi Diamond Contractor. They can install a Mitsubishi Electric, Mr. Slim Ductless Heating and Cooling System. Mr. Slim Systems are designed to make any living space in your home inviting. You can have a different temperature control for every room in your home. The money-saving technology can save you 25 to 50 percent on your heating bill. For Mitsubishi, Renai, and trained comfort specialists, call SJ Kowalski at 570-455-2600. After receiving a community service grant last year, the Hazleton Rotary Club was provided updates at yesterday's meeting about a feeding program that the grant was put towards. The Hazleton Rotary Club, through various fundraisers, was able to provide Holy Rosary Parish with a $3,600 grant. Since February, Holy Rosary Parish, with the help of the Weinberg Food Bank, has been able to help feed over 200 people. The club was honored today that the local parish and their part partnership with the Weinberg Food Bank for all the work that they are doing to feed the people in the greater Hazleton area. They're sponsoring an outreach to needy people, hungry people, and homeless people in Hazleton. Once a month, they're at Catholic Social Services and they provide a wonderful meal. And part of our Rotary money is going toward that. And in cooperation with Weinberg, it's a win-win for the community in Hazleton. Carolyn Jemanski, a parishioner and lead person in charge of the free community lunches in Hazleton from Holy Rosary Parish, told us that this donation is greatly appreciated and will go a long way in helping those in need in the area. Our um, Holy Ro Rosary priest uh, had certainly given us, um, he guides us, and uh, this was one of his missions that we go out and we do help in our community. So we're so blessed to be given this opportunity, um, so blessed to have the funding from the Rotary Club and the support from the Weinberg Food Bank helping us and assisting us so that we could help feed those in need. Last month we served over 200 meals. We went from 70 in February to 200, so we're, you know, we're out there and we're so happy that our numbers are increasing and that we're able to help in the community of Hazleton. Heather Feast, the director of agency relations for the Weinberg Food Bank, told us that they are beginning a health food plan for the food banks. If you would like to help and donate, she says it would be a great help. We are constantly looking for donations. Monetary donations um, and actual food donations are always wonderful. So um, anyone in the community that's ever interested in donating food, we're always up for accepting it. Holy Rosary Parish will hold their next free luncheon on Saturday, August 13th at Catholic Social Services. Coming up next, Eric DiBerardinas is in with sports here on WYLN. Plus, Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbacic will have a final look at our forecast. Stay tuned. Beach Mountain Lakes Restaurant and Lounge is open to the public Wednesday through Sunday. They offer great food and entertainment with a beautiful lake view from their 100-foot deck. Wednesday is Crab Lake Night, Thursday is their Burger Bash, and Sunday is Clam Night. Check out their live entertainment every weekend. Mayleth Valley Health Systems in Cybertsmill, providing physical, occupational, speech, nutritional, and outpatient therapy. Also offering home health and hospice care. For more information, call 570-708-2929. If you were on social media when Michael Phelps appeared in Rio, you'd think he had the Zika virus or the worst tattoo of all time. Not the case. It was just cupping. We explore what cupping is. It's becoming more uh, well known. The worldwide stage of the Olympics and the most decorated Olympian ever will do that. Cupping has been around in China for a long time, like centuries. But about 10 years ago, the technique became a part of physical therapy. At physical therapy in Hazel Township, Ting O has been using cupping for about two years now. The technologies and the techniques we use here in this little town of Hazleton may not be too far away from what some of the, uh, the, the high-level athletes are receiving. But what's the point of cupping? It loosens tight musculature and it loosens tight fascia. Anywhere there is a problem in the body, we can utilize the myofascial decompression of the cupping to help treat that. 
it's effective for high-level athletes, but also effective if you're the opposite of an athlete. But say you do have a shoulder injury, like 21-time gold medal winner Michael Phelps, Oh, shows us the process. It separates everything, the layers under the tissues, which helps the circulation and the healing process. What we do is we utilize some cream because what the cream does is it helps with the, the, uh, the seal of the vacuum. We're going to use this negative pressure pump and just pump it. And what that does is it draws the skin up and then uh, we'll leave it there for a little bit. Uh, Michael Phelps, when he had it done, um, those, uh, those big purple bruises that you saw, um, he was done pretty aggressively. It's based on anatomical structures of the body. What we're doing is we're putting uh, pressure or negative pressure on the actual muscles, the trigger points in the fascia, which can help them release. And when they release, it allows things to heal better. Cupping doesn't solve everything, but for Phelps, it helps. Uh, other soft tissue work is very important. Um, stability and strengthening exercise is important. Range of motion is important. So it's a, it's a whole gamut of treatment. With aggressive cupping, the kind Phelps undergoes, it will take about seven to ten days for bruises to disappear. Gold medals, probably worth it. You'll notice that the coloration of the skin is just a light little bruise. So yes, Michael Phelps is okay. Probably even better due to cupping. Phelps goes for gold again tonight. Someone spilled early, but now it's official. PNC Field, home of the Rail Riders, will be the host of the 2017 AAA National Championship game. The announcement made earlier today at the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Airport. The game features the champions from the International League and Pacific Coast League and will be held on September 19th, 2017. And the way the Rail Riders are playing right now, they could be going for the championship in 2016. Last night, their seventh straight victory, 11th in a row at home. And tonight, they aim for a sweep of the Iron Pigs and to extend their divisional lead to five games over at Lehigh Valley. High school football previews continue tonight, but next, Joe Garbacic is in with a final look at the forecast. Stay tuned. Enter your name and phone number for a chance to win a pair of tickets for a rafting adventure with Whitewater Challengers for a trip down the Lehigh River. Winners will be announced August 16th on WYLN's Evening Edition at 5.30 p.m. and Late Edition at 10 p.m. Call 570-459-1869, extension 1110, to enter. Two pair of tickets will be given away. Get ready to get soaked with an exciting rafting trip from Whitewater Challengers. M Valley Market, located at 699 South Kennedy Drive in McAdoo, is now open. It's your one-stop shop for gas or diesel, Green Mountain Coffee, Gears Iced Tea, Pennsylvania Lottery, tobacco products, and so much more. And don't forget, you can pick up your favorite candy and snacks. M Valley Market, 699 South Kennedy Drive in McAdoo. Were you satisfied with your child's education this school year? Well, take a look at what Marion Catholic High School has to offer. Students are challenged academically, spiritually, morally, and physically. Excellent student-teacher ratio and a full array of clubs and activities. 90% of all grads continue on to higher education. A sound investment in your child's future. Affordable tuition and scholarships are available. Log on to our website or call today for a free tour. All right, well, we have the heat and humidity to deal with over the next couple of days, and it is feeling very tropical-like when you walk outside. Temperature is feeling well into the 90s. You feel those humidity levels almost as high as they get across our area. That will be the case tomorrow, even into our Saturday. No relief. A little bit of relief for Sunday, and then after that, a little bit of some more pleasant air comes back into play for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday of next week, but we got those showers and thunderstorms to contend with. And again, they can happen at any point in time, like we saw yesterday, like we saw today. We'll see again tomorrow and, and Saturday. Very muggy for overnight lows, dropping down to near 70 degrees. But like I said, a little bit of some relief as we go into next week. But it is summer, and this very well might be uh, the last heat that we have until next year. But 
Again, kind of early to tell. We'll see what happens. Yeah, you never know. But I could. I think we could do 85 degrees. If it wasn't, wasn't for the humidity. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> but, uh, hey. I could deal with that. What are you going to do? It is the end, so I guess you just look forward to... Yeah, although when the kids go back to school, it always gets hot again. It most does. Most of the times. So. It's like a curse for them. You know, yeah. But it has been nice all summer, so that's all that matters for them. Have a good night, everyone.